few years ago I mentioned that um, you know the there's a black market in Asia and it's about our Chinese blood. Are you surprised? Of course not. Your blood in Asia is extremely valuable. And why can't they have a supply when there is so little demand? Well, maybe the people who have arch negative blood are there doing business and maybe they have the money to spend and maybe it is not as organized all the time there's not so much of an awareness um, in the medical industry or as much of a priority because such a small amount of people is Rh negative so whenever there is a case where a transfusion is needed they pretty much panic and cannot get always a donor in time so there is a black market happening so a lot of people have realized wow I have O negative blood you know two thousand two thousand nine hundred dollars for a pint something like that you know I, I think that's what I've posted before what I've shared before with you guys so is it surprising that now organized crime is kicking in and so the news is that the man from China whose blood type is O negative, I guess, I don't know how they know. Well, they know. Uh, he was lured to Cambodia and he became a blood slave, meaning they drained him. They drained him of his blood. Not the few weeks that you are supposed to wait in between donations. No, they drained the guy. I guess it's called a blood gang or something like that. And they put out a force. They lured him in. They targeted him. They lured him in. And then, you know, he was held captive for a few months. And, um,. He's now, I think, in a hospital in stable condition, but he was really, really in bad shape. I mean, he was dread. <laughs> it's horrible, man. It's absolutely horrible. So, huh, I'm in Thailand right now. Well, there is no shortage here. Well, there is maybe here and there, but there are so many foreigners, Westerners living here that uh, I see the Thailand news or the Thailand Facebook pages or even the expat pages or the foreign teachers in Thailand pages all the time a negative or negative blood needed and immediately somebody comes through so that worry I don't have here but no you know now when I'm listening about Cambodia but by the way there is an RH negative group in Cambodia so uh, all you have to do is even you know, go to resusnegative.net and type in keyword Cambodia and I'm linking to these guys, you know, so you don't have to go kidnap somebody or buy blood from a blood gang. Anybody in Cambodia who's watching this, if you are RH negative, go to resusnegative.net, search bar Cambodia. There's gonna be a page that'll pop up saying uh, RH negative groups and organizations worldwide or something like that. And you will find a link to the RH negative group in Cambodia. Keep it, follow them, uh, join their group, stay connected. You never know what happens. It's a lot better to befriend other Irish negative people then one day wake up in a hospital and then you know pay a lot of money <clears throat> to stay alive while some dude is being drained of his blood held captive imprisoned you know I think that's a way that we can put these guys out of business <laughs>